Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we are in Westfeld and I found one of the most beautiful Christmas decorations in Next Home. Stay tuned, I will show you everything, we'll check the prices and the whole collection. Please don't forget to hit the like button, dislike button, leave any type of comment and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and let's go and see what they have. I was very impressed with um, how many things they have for, uh, for home decoration for Christmas. I'm absolutely amazed with quality. The prices are very... they're not low, they're moderate, but most of the things they're quite affordable. And I love the color story, almost everything is done in very neutral colors. But let's walk around, let's check the prices, let's see what they have. I really like this collection with oxes, and a bit later I will show you what else they have with oxes. And I think they look so cute. A lot of gnomes. And everything is like beige grey. Does look very nice. And the Yes, the light light up gnome. Gong gnome. <laughs> <laughs> the skin one I love those neutral shades and here we can see some greens and purples and I think they do balance very well string of lights with the pine cones it's really like back to nature something bright here don't you think they look cute? I really like the dogs as well they do have quite a few. They've got the Maltipus, they have the sausage dogs. And some very good looking candles. 10 pounds for this one. And almost all the candles, they have quite similar fragrance added to them. Like the cinnamon and clementine winter spice. gingerbread I don't know why this is something unexplainable but I absolutely love the way that gingerbread is used in home decorations I think they're so homey so warm and cozy and even when I look at this decorations I really feel this cinnamon flavor to it <laughs> This is the first time I see the baubles made of straw. And some kitchen accessories and tableware. This one looks like linen, but I think it's been topped with, uh, with some rubber or some plastic, so it's very easy to take care of. says the hand painted I guess the, these are the bathroom accessories like where you put your toothbrushes soap or maybe the 
kitchen washing up liquid little tray very nice and they look so beautiful that you actually want to buy almost everything here it's the cookie jar <laughs> I really like this gnome. A lot of decorative pillows, even the advent calendar one. You can stick something small in there. Everyday little candy. <laughs> like the idea. But I should be careful with chocolates on the sofa. <laughs> and they have two or three types of the tablecloth. One is neutral colors with gingerbread houses and another one is with a snowman. Look quite nice as well. Personally, me, I would prefer to go for the gingerbread. What do you think so far? We have the full mug set. I would use them for hot wine instead of hot chocolate. <laughs> That's my bad. Even the Santa bath towel. A lot of a lot of things. This one looks very nice as well. They have quite a few blankets. They're synthetic ones, but um, taking into account, I'm not a big fan of synthetic fabrics. I like the way this one feels. And if you watched my video from Primark, you might remember how unhappy I was because the quality there is. Honestly, it's awful. But here we've got polyester and some other synthetic materials, and the quality is different. Even when you touch it, it's very nice. It's like the fe 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 feather like, very soft. Quite a few Christmas dress. Oh, really, I want to buy. 90% of what I see in next. Looks nice, feels nice. Color story is great. And when you enter the shop, it smells like cinnamon everywhere. It does create this atmosphere when you really want to shop for Christmas goods.
there was one or two shelves for, with the autumn decorations. Not many, and I know Halloween will be in a couple of days, so they don't have much. This toss they are quite heavy. The hat and shoes for the Christmas tree. This is the first time I see anything like this. Some golden. Like 15 pounds for a box of the emerald bubbles. Not quite sure if this is the permanent collection, but it was very close to Christmas decorations, so I decided to film it as well. I like the Pumas. And some more pillows and cushions. Cushions? <laughs> Christmas tree decorations and these are the first ones I saw except for the ones on Christmas trees behind me and some more oxes as well Do you think it would look nice on a table? And some Christmas cards. <laughs> a little grumpy bunny. <laughs> Oh, some gingerbread bus foam. And this is the brightest section they've had. It's very festive. Some Christmas dogs. Is anyone still collecting them? Because I remember some time ago it was a very popular thing to collect the rubber ducks. It's a very nice mug. I will go for a couple of them. I think it will be very nice to have something hot in, for, in front of the fire space fireplace. Some more bus toys for children. And more kitchen accessories. this is something called like limited edition or this rubber ducks are appearing on shelves every single year another tablecloth and this multiple is so cute so is the cockapoo. <laughs> but still it's so beautiful. Look. Oh, 
how many of you uh, have the either cockapoo or multipo at home? I do have a lot of friends who uh, who have these dogs. Nice. Some Christmas ornaments, table decorations, Christmas tree toppers. Very, very, very good selection. They don't have as much as, for example, Peter Jones or John Lewis, but everything is so balanced in Next. This door looks nice as well. Do you think I shall go for this decoration? And some more. Okay, it's a gonk, it's not a gnome. <laughs> and they are personalized with the letters. Golden bath foam with the smell of gingerbread. Oh, how cute this one is little penguin with the letter A. Cute little one. And pack of 50 Christmas baubles for 16 pounds. And trust me, in real life they look very good. I will try to make the close-up look. Not sure if camera catches it. Okay, moving on to little figurines with platters. Santa, what's up with the reindeer? And some beer. <laughs> what do you think about this one? We saw so many of them already. Soap dispenser. Or maybe washing up liquid dispenser for kitchen if you want to use it like this. Let's see what else they have here. Is it the sad rabbit again? Oh, this one looks a bit happier. Okay, we have some plates for children and some cutlery for kids. The fairy ones. Long time I haven't seen bubbles made from artificial fur. And you can see something like the snake skin as well. Different sizes, different colors, <laughs> but they look so cute. The 
the black and white candies. This is the first time I see these decorations as well in this color, color story because normally they would be the white and red or white and pink or I guess we saw the yellow and pink but the, for the first time I see them in black and white huge huge bubble pillows <laughs> soft decorations and they should have the third one which is twice as big as the blue one but I could not find it it looks like it's been sold out by now and some more hat and shoes what do you think about this idea like having the Christmas tree with shoes <laughs> And the Christmas tree skirt in very nice dark blue color. And this was the music box. Um, battery operated so it should be playing the drum when the battery is in we will not crack a Christmas tree decoration oh and this star is amazing so this is the message to everyone shine bright all the time anywhere I think it's made of ceramics if I'm not mistaken And you can see how Next is keeping up with trends because again they're using dark navy colors and they're using dark emerald colors which have been the trendiest ones this year. Okay, so Christmas decor. even the sparkly gnome <laughs> but then all of the sparkles they are staying on my fingers yep meaning they will be everywhere Oh, here it is. I've tried my best to get all the prices, at least all I could find, all the price tags. And we came back to this grayish beigey section and the little locks again <laughs> they do look very cute by the way is it year of the ox which is next one or am i mistaken 
What animal is coming next year according to the trainer's calendar? Looks like grey, beige, and white will never go out of fashion. And I saw some more Christmas decor, the home decor behind the Halloween stand. So let's quickly go through, through this one and we'll move to home fragrances, the seasonal ones, and we'll move to some tableware. And I really want to show you the Laura Ashley collection, home collection, which I absolutely love. Nice. <laughs> Tell me honestly, uh, do you change tableware every season, like having something? especially for autumn or having something only for winter time and then moving to Easter and then having something for summer time because with me I don't have much of it I have the set of plates and mugs and cups and glasses and I'm trying my best not to buy separate things that are not that do not fit the collection I already have. But this time I could not keep myself of a couple of mugs for children. So, yes. I'm just curious if you have different pieces of tableware or do you stick to one certain set you've purchased some time ago when you don't really want to mix it with uh, random things? It looks very nice. <laughs> it looks very sweet. I think this type of tableware would look very nice for some cafes maybe that want to have this themed teas creating the special seasonal atmosphere. Posters. Oh yes, and now we're moving on to the ox as well. And this ox, it has the name, his name is Hamish. Sorry, it's not the ox, it's the cow. Hamish the cow. And I guess this is some special character for next home shop. I may be wrong, if I am, please correct me. <laughs> I guess this is something closer to the Easter time, to springtime. And yes, there we are moving to the other side of the shop because here they have the seasonal beauty things with all those festive smells like cinnamon, like oranges and clementine, like winter spices. Yeah, 
this and moving on to home fragrances they look nice they smell nice and I actually bought one of them but not from the next home collection I bought it from the Laura Ashley collection Laura Ashley for next smell is amazing it's the festive spice <laughs> some more candles and I guess these are the fragrance dispensers look at this one And it does smell like the freshly baked gingerbread. I mean, this is the smell you will never mistake with anything else. And hot chocolate, it smells more, not like a hot chocolate, it smells more of the black chocolate. Caramel and Irish cream hot chocolate, amazing. These fragrances to create the atmosphere, the right one for the December and January. The caramel latte. Wow. It's very, very, very hard to keep myself in hands, not buying everything. again and I love the way it's made like having this little piece of the pine tree and having some red berries inside it is becoming more like a piece of the decor not just the scented sticks the oil burner Yes, the selection is amazing and also some more home decorations we saw this guy already but there are quite a few pieces and I'm quite sure they're from the permanent collection so this is not something you should run and buy <laughs> next home is very beautiful these are the winter dogs look <laughs> and the quality is great there's nothing bad I can say about it and the sweet coal section Hanish? Hamish? <laughs> so cute and next really keep reminding us about the importance of the family Christmas is all about family celebrations are all about family 
so this is a great advantage of the shop family time together this is a very important message get some pumpkin gnome <laughs> Yes. And moving on to Laura Ashley home decorations and um, furniture. And uh, remember, Laura Ashley used to have a separate shop in Knightsbridge, and then eventually it was closed. And as long as I understood, now the brand is based in Next. The mule spices again we're coming to cinnamon sticks to cardamom to oranges all mixed together and i like the frosted glass these candles have been put in so yes th this is the fragrance i've decided to go for so yes, we are creating this atmosphere in our home and starting with fragrances and they have the bottles in different colors but with the same fragrance. Let's quickly go through the tableware. I have this passion for wine glasses, yes. <laughs> I love wine and I love wine glasses. Champagne flutes. And I really like this one, but I guess it was the only one available. And if you can see the how the texture of the glass and how it plays in the light, it does look beautiful. They actually have a very good selection and I remember Laura Ashley was very... the glasses, they were very popular for weddings some time ago, so we're talking about Laura Ashley and we're talking about Wedgwood, two companies extremely popular for weddings. Beautiful. Uh, we're moving on to home decoration so the specially made wallpapers and the paint 46 pounds for 10 meters if I'm not mistaken but if you walk to someone's home it's Never possible to miss the Laura Ashley wallpapers. And there is something special about the quality of the paints. I know it, <laughs> I've tried it. This is the one we have in the bedroom. Yes, there is something special about it and the color range is amazing. some fabrics, but maybe I should leave it for the next time. And I wanted to walk through the Westfield and we are in the one which is located in White City in London. It is, to my knowledge, one of the biggest shopping malls in Europe. It's not even the UK, it's the biggest one in Europe. And the day I went there, it was Monday, and it was completely overcrowded. We go, Hamlet, what do you do with those bears? Tell me what happened to them. <laughs> Why? 
So yes, uh, Monday afternoon, the shopping center is completely overloaded with people, it's overpacked. And Sephora is overcrowded always with um, young people, younger generation. Yes, let me know if you want to have a separate video about Westfield, I will be very much happy to do it for you. But now, thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.